In 1901, a young man with a dream completed the blueprint for an engine designed to fit into a bicycle. In 1903, a friend joined him in an enterprise that had very humble beginnings. In a 10 by 15 foot shed, a company was born which was to become one of the most well-known, admired and loved names in the motorcycle industry. Mr. Harley and Mr. Davidson weren't the type to listen when they were told it couldn't be done. They weren't about to listen when advised they may want to think again, when in 1906 they expanded the business. They didn't listen again when in 1907 the factory doubled in size and along with the original four founding members, a further 18 people were now building the famous Harley. William Harley and Arthur Davidson never listened to any negative comments. They plowed their own furrow, made their own luck, stuck to their guns, and the rest, as they say, is history. The Clarendon group of companies are made of similar stuff. Where some see a project too difficult to undertake, Clarendon see just another challenge to overcome. When the directors of Clarendon decided to put together, through the exhibitions arm of the company, Clarendon Exhibitions, the customizing Culture and Harley-Davidson exhibition at Manchester's Museum of Science and Industry, some people said, don't do it. It will be incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to get such a broad range of historic and custom bikes and convince the owners to loan them to you for six months. You will never get Harley-Davidson to officially endorse and support what you're doing. An exhibition combining historic and state-of-the-art custom bikes has never been done before, and shipping the bikes in from all over the world will be a near impossible task. Giving up is not a Clarendon Exhibitions trait. It was hard work, but nothing of any value came together easily. But the customizing culture in Harley-Davidson Exhibition did go ahead and was a phenomenal success, receiving fantastic reviews from press, media, and visitors from around the world. And such was its success, it was extended by another two months due to sheer demand. Well, welcome to uh, Mosey. I'm the director, Tony Hill, and uh, we're in the Customising Culture and Harley exhibition. And I have to say it's absolutely fantastic because 16, 18 months ago when Chris Scott and myself met, I didn't really think we'll get something quite as good as this exhibition. But the whole team at Clarendon have really, really pulled together a fantastic exhibition. They've gone out across the world to link up with people who they know who have Harleys and have brought them here and created what is a wonderful experience for everybody. I think they're just a brilliant team who can achieve wonders. The Harley is an American icon known all over the world as much as Mickey Mouse or the Statue of Liberty. They've starred in Hollywood blockbusters from Easy Rider to The Terminator. And when a fat boy makes an appearance in The Simpsons, you know you're truly a star. 1909 Model 5 490cc, $210 when new. The engine in this machine spent many years powering a washtub on a farm in upstate New York. The 1935 model VLDD Californian Highway Patrol 1340cc, $347 when new, restored by Steve Slocum.
1942 model ELC and military sidecar 1000cc three speed and reverse restored by Pete Reeves one of only 44 ever built for the Canadian Army In 1948, model FL Ice Road Panhead, 1200cc, known as the Ice Road Panhead, as Paul rode the bike on studded tires from Tutankhamun to Inuvik in the Arctic Circle in 2008. The road is carved on the frozen Mackenzie River. It's barren and extremely dangerous, with temperatures dropping to minus 57 degrees Celsius. Not bad for a bike 63 years old. Silver Machine Custom, 1340cc 5-speed, built by Pete Reeves, winner of Best of Show in the Radical Custom Big Twin Class in Daytona. When this beautiful machine was built, it had the widest rear tyre ever fitted to a motorcycle. High Roller Trike, 1650cc 6-speed, built by Vic Jefford, Destiny Cycles UK. Vic and Woody fabricated and built every part of the bike. The engine is built using components from Harley engines spanning four decades. This machine has won many awards across the UK and Europe. In 1998, Jaguar Bike 1200cc 5-speed, 
built by Stes, Polar Cycles Doncaster. Built around a V-twin overhead valve IS3 Buell. You'll either love it or hate it. Either way, it is a beautifully crafted work of art.